Hi, I'm Libby DeLage with Franklin Academy News. It's that time of year again, fall. Here's a clip to show some things you can learn during fall by Kenzie Robertson. Another fall thing you can do is drink some hot apple cider. Get an early start on your Thanksgiving dinner and order a honey baked ham. Hello? Yes, I would love to order a honey baked ham. My family loves it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. Some fall decorations are a scarecrow, a fall scented candle, and some Halloween window decorations. Another fall thing you can do is plant some leaves. Yay! And moving on, here's seventh grade and about their new field trip to the Holocaust Museum in Virginia. Here's Kelsey J. and Miss Moniz. My name is Miss Moniz and I am the history teacher for the 7th and 8th grade and we are here to talk about the Virginia Holocaust Museum field trip in Richmond on November 4th. We're going to start the day at the Holocaust Museum and then we are going to take the canal walk along the James River over to Tredegar Iron Works. It was the Confederacy's location for their cannons during the Civil War. Uh, I wanted to keep something within a reasonable distance. Uh, we also were looking for something that related to the content, and I had been there before and in the area. It had a lot of historical um, landmarks that we wanted to see. We have not talked about the Holocaust in seventh grade yet, but it would be a really great start to the conversation um, that comes during third quarter when we get to World War II. Uh, we are hoping that from this museum that they will get a sense of... Um, the situation during during the Holocaust because this museum was created by actual Holocaust survivors that live in Richmond. The Holocaust was a tragic experience for tons of millions of people. During World War II, Adolf Hitler was responsible for the death of six million people. Many groups, especially Jews, were being persecuted for their beliefs. Slowly, Hitler went through the genocide process, eventually leading up to Jews being taken to ghettos. In the ghettos, many of them were unfortunately killed. killed. The Holocaust will never be forgotten. A hundred and twenty-five pounds. You may have heard of diabetes. There are two types, type 1 and type 2. He, here is Leah Gilbert with type 1 information. I've had type 1 diabetes for four years. Type 1 diabetes is where um, an organ called your pancreas doesn't work. Um, it doesn't give the medicine that you need to eat. So when you eat, you need that, and I can't get that naturally. I was waking up in the middle of the night a lot, and I was peeing and drinking a lot of water. And then the day I found out, I threw up a lot. Well, I was pretty, like, cool with it because I was, I didn't really know what it was, so I just went with the flow. Usually a typical day is just you test every time you eat and if you feel like it. For me, I feel drunk whenever I'm low. I act like it. Um, but it's just you give yourself insulin whenever you eat or you have a high blood glucose. So type 1 diabetes is when your pancreas doesn't work and you need something to help you get the insulin. And then type 2 diabetes is where you're fat and, <laughs> and really overweight and your pancreas still works, but you have too much sugar in your blood for your insulin to get it. Diabetes camp I go to is Camp Carolina Trails and 
all, a lot of type one di they're all over the world and type one diabetics go to it if they can afford it um, or if they want to every year. And it's just a place where all type one diabetics can feel like they don't have to feel left out or they can just, like we do all these activities and they're really, atten the counselors and um, the food people, they're really like attentive to diabetes. So like they can tell when you feel low or when you're high and it's really fun. I love going to it, it's, it's fun. There are many things going on in this school. One of the things in eighth grade is in technology. They are fixing oil spills. Here is more about it. I'm Mackenzie Roberson and I'm here to talk to you about the eighth grade oil experiment. How, what did the students learn from the oil spills? Uh, the students learned how oil spills affect the environment and how they are cleaned up. What, what was the purpose of this experiment? Uh, to understand resource management and the engineering behind natural disasters. Do you think this will have an effect on the students' lives? Yes. They will understand that using technology has both positive and negative consequences and to evaluate their own use of resources. Here at the Franklin Academy News, we are bringing in global news. Here is a story by Mark Davis about Russian and German subs. Today, October 21, a Nazi U-boat was found off the coast of North Carolina. The German sub was found at the bottom of the Atlantic. 30 miles off the coast of Cape Hatteras. Joe Hoyt, a chief scientist of the NOAA's Office of Marine Sanctuaries Expedition, says, this is not just the discovery of a single shipwreck. We discovered an important battle site that is part of the Battle of the Atlantic. This sub was on its way back home when it came upon a convoy of merchant vessels. It fired four torpedoes, which sunk one ship and severely damaged two other ships. The U.S. Navy aircraft retaliated by bombing the Nazi sub. It was destroyed very quickly. The wreck site is considered a grave and protected by international law. A few days ago, a Russian sub was found near Sweden. Sweden says that they have received a distress signal from the Russian sub, saying that it was having some difficulties. But Russian Defense Ministry officials deny that the Russian sub got into difficulty in the waters off of Sweden and sent out a distress signal. The Swedish military is prepared to use armed force to search for the submarine. Their officials say this could be the biggest submarine search since the Cold War. You've probably heard about the Glow Dance around school. Well, here's more. Here's Caitlin Burtett with words about the Glow Dance. Hi, my name is Caitlin Burkett and I'm 8th grade rep on Student Council. The glow dance is where there, all the lights will be off and everybody will get glow sticks and have a great time. And Mr. Kelly is, has a playlist, so he's spinning some new tracks. And it is different because I don't think it's ever really been done before. And it's a new idea for like the second quarter dance. And I'm involved in it because I am the leader, the committee leader for it, and I planned um, what the decoration should be, and I made the playlist, and I did a lot of the work, but I had some help with Miss Robinson. Go to the Glow Dance on November 7th, and I hope to see you there and have lots of fun.